Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Rogers. I am the inventor of the Shot Pack, and I'm the president and CEO of Shot Shell Technologies. Today, I'm coming to you to talk to you about a new shotgun shell dispenser that we have out on the market. And don't worry about the birds behind me. We're going to talk about the tactical, but the Shot Pack, as you're going to see here in a minute, also ap has applications for birds and all types of things. But today, we're going to talk about the Shot Pack and the tactical version. So, first off, what is the Shot Pack? The Shot Pack is a for the tactical military police first responders it is a shotgun shell dispenser uh, primarily for 12 gauge shotgun shells uh, this dispenser basically will hold either 10 or 11 shells depending on the configuration of of how you so want to design it um, the shot pack when we developed the shot pack as a as a shotgun shell dispenser basically what what the shot pack is it holds 11 and or 10 shells as i mentioned it's a device that can be worn in a multiple uh, aspects. It can be worn on a tactical vest on the front. It can also be worn on the back. Anywhere you basically got Velcro webbing to attach this to a, to a Molly system, this will basically attach to the Molly system. It's just a quick demonstration. We'll demonstrate a little bit more as we go along. But basically what this is, as you lift up on this cradle, it's called the cradle, which is a receiver down here. You lift that up it dispenses a shotgun shell into, into your fingertips. To load the shot packs, basically all you do is you put your shell in there, you push up on it, it loads it in there. I'm gonna give you more of a information on the shot shell, uh, on the shot pack here in just a minute, the tactical pack. This is a keeper strap. Basically we put the keeper strap up here in the event you inadvertently hit the, the cradle, it releases a shell, but the shell's not gonna fall out basically until you grab this and pull it out ready, ready for usage. We developed the tactical pack. Uh, we've uh, consulted with multiple police departments over the years. And we developed the tactical pack for an application for first responders, police, military, et cetera, to have something that was quick and accessible in which they knew also how to dispense their shotgun shells and what they were dispensing. When you get the tactical pack um, from, from us, basically it's gonna come uh, on, a, on a card like this in a in a bag in a in a, vel in a ziploc uh, baggie and it's going to look just like this you're also going to get with this you're going to get a belt clip uh, but a couple things with this you have in this configuration what you get is basically you get four color coded cradles these cradles we've consulted with police departments again for their applications and so in theory your red cradle would represent lethal your yellow cradle would represent chemical munitions your orange would theoretically represent like a doorbuster type of load, and your green would be a, a non-lethal load. So when you go to grab your gro your go bag, and you have the shot packs in your go bag, you know by just looking at the cradle if that's a lethal cradle, or the black is the standard, or whatever color-coded cradle system that you have in here, you'll easily be able to identify your shells so you won't have any issues about knowing what type of munitions that you have. Being that, um, there's a need to carry sometimes a lot of shotgun shells uh, in the application that we have here. Uh, in the 11 configuration is if the shells are actually staggered when you put them in. Although if you don't want to stagger them and you want these to where when you pull up on the cradle, all your shells come out consecutively in the same, in the same form or fashion. This is the Benelli. Super Black Eagle, a lot of police departments use Benelli Super Black Eagles. If you've, got your, if you've got your weapon at the ready and you need a shotgun shell, you pull it out, the shell's basically ready to go. Whatever configuration that you have, you load it and basically you're, you're ready to stay in, stay in action. You don't have to take your eyes off of the target. You don't have to be reaching for shells somewhere else on your body or in some other type of configuration wherever your shells may, may or may not be. Sometimes we don't know, but this way we know exactly where the shells are. In a position where all the cradles, or all the, excuse me, where all the shell casings are in one direction, as I said, when you pull up on the cradle, this comes out, you're ready to go. <coughs> the benefit for this is also, this is just a model, but there's a lot of um, shotgun shell carrying devices out there. Some are mounted to the butt stock. Some are mounted on the fore stock of the gun. Whenever you have a situation like that, first thing, as you know, your weapon is, is, is weighted. So there's always a center point, right? There's, there's that point in the weapon in which it becomes balanced. Well, when you have a weapon like this and you're carrying shotgun shells basically on the, on the buttstock of the gun, 
you don't have a center you don't have a center of gravity so your your tactical advantage is lost if this comes down the other thing is if you have your eye on the target first thing is your shells are over here you have to take your arm off of the weapon reach across your body to get this which puts you in a vulnerable position as far as being able to reach for your shells so here, here you have to pull them they're tight sometimes they're hard to get out and then look it's upside down it's backwards it's in a lot of it's just a goofy way in which to try to reach in over here grab your shell turn it around and then reach under your weapon and do that with the shot pack basically what you do with the shot pack you've got your weapon you basically have your weapon at the ready basically what you do is you reach up here you flip you grab your shells in the right position you load you're ready to go that's as easy basically as easy as it is we'll jack that out of there for safety but that's how it is you put your weapon up here you want a shell you got it you're ready to go there's no reaching over here grabbing the shell trying to pull it off of the buttstock of the gun it's a lot more efficient it's a lot safer you still your weapon still has a center of center of gravity to it so you're not disturbing that whatsoever um, we've made the shot pack this is out of lexan plastic we've had police departments um, test these we've frozen them we've had it in sub-zero temperatures we've had them in over 100 120 degree temperatures inside your vehicle inside the back of the trunk etc of the lexan plastic this is not going to deflect it's not going to warp it's not going to hurt it whatsoever whether it freezes or whether it's or whether it's extremely extremely hot outside the thing too also that we've done for you is on the cover of the top of the shop pack there's a clear ticket window in here and there's actually a ticket card in here and this ticket card basically gives you an explanation of what you're actually carrying we got 12 gauge either two and three quarter inches or three inches is it a is it a a, a, a lethal round a doorbuster round a chemical round a non-lethal round are you shooting steel are you shooting lead shooting whatever and then the size of the shot shell is the size of the um, the pellet itself are you carrying buckshot or whatever it is it's on here so basically all you do is you check that mark you can look at it and you can determine what you have when you receive your shot pack inside of this back cover or inside of the cover there's 21 additional cards in here uh, for, for your clear ticket windows uh, so basically you just cut the card out and then reinsert them or insert them back into your shell pack when you're ready to use them when you're done with your shot packs or your tactical packs basically you can store them in a stackable position they will stack uh, also a unique thing about the shot pack the tactical pack version is that if you're in an armory and you need to you're checking the shells out basically you can put the tack pack on there it's going to give you a dynamic weight when you check it out of the armory. It's now going to give you a dynamic weight when you check it back into the armory. So there's no need to unload all the shells, count the shells, look at them. You know if it weighed X going out, it's going to weigh X coming back in. So from a, from a standpoint of inventory, it's real, basic, real basically easy to, to take account of your, of your inventory. Another cool thing that we've done with the shot pack, this tactical version, is on the back of the version we have a velcro weave system in here this is actually a, a, a double fold over uh, velcro weave the reason for that is you can put it on your on your molly system you can put it anywhere like i say i've got one on my back i can carry multiple shot packs or tactical packs i can carry three four actually boxes of shells i can carry probably a couple hundred rounds on just one tactical vest you basically weave this in here you close these over you close that over down close it over and now basically you've got a pack that you can put on a on a uh, a molly system the other thing if you have a duty belt on you can also put this as far as the velcro weave system you can put this on your duty belt we actually have in production right now also a belt clip it looks similar to this it's going to be a three inch version of this and this is going to actually be able to weave on weave your belt loop through through this receiver and now you can hang your shot pack from your duty belt and this won't take up a lot of room on your on your duty belt basically fits on your duty belt doesn't take up a lot of room as far as other devices that you have to have on your duty belt in your course in your course of your tour uh, on duty <coughs> so this is actually coming out we it's being manufactured right now for us should be available very 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 soon um, these tactical packs these are also 
vinyl lined tactical packs or for several reasons one one of the reasons is that it's vinyl lined so it keeps any water and moisture out of the out of the pack so your weapon your your weapon not your weapon excuse me but your ammunition doesn't get wet so if you're in adverse conditions this is basically keeps everything dry in there it's also noise dampening so it holds down on the noise that's actually inside the tactical pack as you're moving or walking or you know, doing your assault. Uh, these aren't going to be rattling around uh, where you're basically giving away your position in that type of regard. So, um, again, the keeper strap, the vinyl lined pouch, uh, the clear ticket window on top, the color coded cradles. Speaking of the color coded cradles, if you so desire, as you see this one down here, it's got a red cradle on it. it means those rounds are lethal rounds. But to change the cradles out, it's very simple. You take the four screws out of the back. Take this back off. This cradle basically is in here with two torsion springs. You pull the cradle straight out. You put the torsion springs on your new cradle and you insert your new cradle into the shot pack and it's ready to go basically with the new set of round, uh, rounds of ammunition, what, whatever you're using. These screws are all stainless steel screws. The uh, uh, components inside of here, the springs, are all stainless steel as well. So they're not going to rust. They're not going to corrode. We offer also a lifetime guarantee on this, as long as you don't drive over it in the car or the truck. Um, it's not going to crush. It's not going to deflect. If something does go wrong with it, basically tell us what it is. We'll send you a new shot pack of the springs, or you lose a screw, whatever, let us know. Uh, we'll take care of that. Um, there are other ways uh, that have been that have basically been developed to carry shotgun shells, as I was just mentioning. Uh, you have this type of device here where again your center of gravity is off. It's hard to reach over and grab your shells. There are other devices out there which <clears throat> theoretically you can carry your shells. This is like a, a pouch that you put your shells into. Well, when you go to close it, it's a little difficult to close. And then you've got to button it up like that. And then you've got a big conglomeration of your shells. You don't know what type of shells you have in here. You don't know what size they are. You don't know if they're lethal, non-lethal rounds, what have you. And then you've got to find a place to put them. So I don't know about you, but I don't know if this would be a good idea if I were looking for a quick and easy access to my shells versus basically taking the shot pack. As quick as you can pull up on that lever, it'll drop them out into your, into your fingertips. So reliable, takes, takes out of the aspect of where am I getting my shells from and how quick can I get them out and how quick can I load them. Um, Outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, um, the tactical packs have been proven in the field. Uh, we are very confident in these uh, to provide you the easiest and most effective means in which to uh, uh, have easy, quick access to your ammunition. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us uh, and or personally call me at the office. Thank you very much and have a nice day. As I mentioned earlier, as far as the buttstock or the forestock of the weapon putting on there, I don't think it's a good idea when you lose your center.